This video is only intended for illustrating the work stages and does not replace the official installation and operating instructions. The installation and operating instructions as well as, in particular, the safety instructions they contain must be read before starting work and followed during work. First, the trailer must be secured against rolling away. It is recommended for the work to be performed on a lifting platform. A handbrake lever with a wide swiveling arc, here on the right in the picture, an overrun distance of more than 50 millimeters, non-parallel counterweights or a poorly acting handbrake may indicate wear on the wheel brake or that the transmission device is purely adjusted. To achieve the correct braking effort and keep the wear on the components, for example overrun damper at a low level, it is necessary to readjust the brakes from time to time. For adjustment, the swivel cam of the wheel brake must be locked from the outside with a 3.8 mm pin through the docking hole. Next, tighten the adjusting bolt on the rear of the brake until movement of the wheel is prevented. Now turn back by about one and a half turns until no brake effort is applied any longer when the wheel is turned forwards. After all wheel brakes have been adjusted, the handbrake should be operated a few times in order to center the brakes. After this, a perpendicular and parallel position of the compensation lever in relation to the brake linkage indicates that the brake setting is good. If the counterweight is tilted, it is necessary to adjust the brakes again. Now it is just as important to adjust the brake linkage. To do this, release the handbrake lever, pull the pull rod of the overrun hitch out forwards as far as the stop, tighten the turn buckle until the steering lever of the overrun hitch makes contact with the pull rod without play and without force. Hold the brake linkage in position when tightening the lock nuts. <laughs> 